Ten years ago, Leeds toasted their first promotion to the Premiership, though a lunch before kick-off to mark the anniversary, promised to turn into a wake if they couldn't get something out of the afternoon. Well, it was a Tyke who got the first try, not one wearing blue, though. Leeds lad Danny Kerr gathering the sympathetic pass from Ollie Cohn. Harlequin seven points up. Quinn's bid for a playoff place may have failed, but with their focus shifted to securing Heineken Cup qualification, there was still much to play for. And just four minutes later, the Londoners got their second. Nick Evans collecting the offload from George Robson, who sent Joe Gray over. Into the second half, and the visitors were back into the ascendancy. The Leeds defence stretched across the full width, and Jordan Turner Hall with the simplest of tasks to stretch the lead. Leeds eventually got a score on the board through a penalty, but they'd all but thrown in the towel when Quinn secured the try bonus point. Care on to Mike Brown, and then Nick Easter. The defence nowhere to be seen. The Headingley crowd were resigned to their side's fate when Brown himself got the fifth try, though he did have to stretch his legs. A promising Leeds attack stopped by George Lowe's tackle and the fullback on hand to collect the loose ball and sprint down the touchline to claim another five points. Vast game at Newcastle next weekend now means Leeds' fate could be sealed before their final match at Northampton. Time enough among the Leeds management for optimistic talk of summer signings in Europe to give way to calculations involving parachute payments and trips next winter to less salubrious stopovers on the rugby map.